Hello guys, how's it going? Alexi Grampion here, hope you're well. Today I've got Audio Kills 3 in the workshop and I have got a new diagnostic tool to introduce to you. So this is X-Tool IP508. Uh, this is the basic tool, but it actually comes with a lot of handy features. Uh, so it talks to four ECUs in your vehicle, which are the main ones to be honest anyway. They use 80% of my time. Uh, engine one, airbag, brakes, and obviously transmission. Uh, which is, like I said, probably most common issues you get is on that. So you obviously got DTC lookup, clear codes, live data, and etc. But the other brilliant feature on this tool is six special functions. And one of them is what has been highly requested recently is electronic parking brake in case you're changing rear brake pads or working on it. This has got that feature. And the best about it all is you actually got lifetime free updates on this tool, which is great. You might have seen my other video on X tool, the dongle bit. Uh, you need the phone or tablet for that to have the app, but obviously on here, everything's included and everything's installed on here. And you've got internet on here that you can look up DTC straight away. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to introduce you to the tool today. Um, quite a handy thing to have, to be honest. Uh, find the 200 quid. Like I said, a lot of you asked me on the Tiguan forum and now the Q3 forum uh, for the rear brake pads replacement. You were looking for a tool that will do that and you'll be able to keep to obviously work on your cars, do DIY and etc. And I think this will be quite a good choice for you. And obviously, if you want to find out why, stick around and I'll show you. I'll demonstrate you the live data. DTC lookup, obviously open the box, show you what you get in the box, uh, how the updates work. And I'm also going to show you uh, what settings you need to go into to replace the rear brake pads on an electronic handbrake system and how to reset the service light because I had a service done on this as well. So if that's something you're interested in, turn in please like my video, subscribe to the channel, and like I said, the link for this tool for the cheapest one I found on Amazon is in the description below. So this is just a quick unpacking, as you can see, IP508, um, comes in the box, you got the manual, just to how to set it up quickly, you got the tool, comes with a screen protector already on it, you got the cable, the OBD connector that you plug in at the top. Obviously the tool comes with the internal battery, which is handy. You don't need to be plugged into the car to have it working. And to the updates, you can have it at home, update it at home. Obviously this is the cable to charge it. And there you got the bag of the adapters, which again, really handy. Funny if you're Europe, UK or States, you got all the adapters that you might need. Obviously UK one here, you got the European one and the one for the states as well. Obviously, they're all interchangeable. Um, so obviously, charge up the tool before using, will be handy, and update it as well, connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna turn it on now, and obviously, uh, for the first time when you turn it on, uh, you will have to insert all the details, uh, basically register it, and put the country you're in, the language you wanna uh, obviously have on there, that you can change later on anyway and just register it, connect it to Wi-Fi and etc. Do the updates, which I definitely recommend so it works properly. And in the future when you're using it, I definitely recommend having it connected to Wi-Fi because it will help you even when you're looking up DTCs or to have the special functions ready for you there. So once you register, this is the screen you obviously get. You got the home screen there, which you got the settings. Uh, you can obviously connect to the Wi-Fi through there, obviously adjust the Clear the storage as well, adjust the display brightness and etc. So it's like a little Android tablet basically. Um, you've got the gallery for the photos and the internet there as well. Uh, but what we're going to obviously mainly concentrate on is diagnosis. Um, this is what I told you. Uh, another great feature about this tool and why we're all here as well. Special function. So you got the steering reset, you got the oil reset, which is probably the most used one. Electronic parking brake, which is obviously changing the rear brake pads on the electronic uh, controlled park, parking brake because you obviously need the diagnostic tool uh, to wind the calipers back in and out afterwards. Battery reset on most of the new cars. Definitely recommend using this feature because some of the electronics don't work properly if you don't do this. Once you replace the battery, especially on auto start stop um, systems. Uh, you got the throttle body reset, which is a really handy feature as well, and ABS bleeding for hybrid cars and etc. to open all the valves to bleed your uh, brake fluid properly, or if you replaced anything on the brake fluid system, definitely recommend using this option because it will help you get rid of the air of the system. Um, so, obviously, 
We're going to connect to the car now. I just wanted to explain you, obviously, once you connect to the internet, definitely do the updates. You have all the selection of the updates, and like I said, they are free uh, to keep you up to date with everything uh, for the special function, etc. You got the report section there, and this is where you can record the live data, obviously, where you can um, get your diagnostic reports on there as well once you've done it. Uh, record live data of, like, I don't know, fuel injection, or etc., or RPM, or anything that you can do on the live data you'll be able to play back on here to check for the fault that you're um, trying to find out so guys i've connected it all to my car now the ignition is on um, it's charging the battery as well on the tool at the same time and the blue light is flashing um, so we're not going to do auto scan to start it uh, so they'll connect to the car and then you can obviously go from there uh, it should be quite quick and um, usually it connects quickly as you can see it's already connected to it just going to initialize it and find all the info um, so as you can see the VIN code and etc the mileage and obviously that's in kilometers and your engine code is there as well and at this stage you can go into diagnosis you can get automatic scan can fast scan or full diagnosis um, so just to cover everyone I'll do automatic scan but can fast scan is really quick I'll show you quickly how quick that is it's on the newer cars obviously everything after 2005 but the newer the car I find the quicker it does it obviously depending on how many systems you got as you can see, it come up already with everything. So you got the report there. Or you can clear all the codes on there already as well. Uh, so everything's passed. There's no fault codes anywhere. If there's a fault code, come up with fail. Uh, but I'm going to go to automatic scan. Uh, this will take slightly longer. But obviously, it'll connect me to the system where I can go in afterwards to do the live data, check DTCs, and obviously record the live data if I want. Uh, so like I said, this will take uh, a little longer because it does it the old-fashioned way, basically. So scanning all the system one by one. But like I said, at least this way I'm covering most of the cards that we got. But still, as you can see, it's quite quick. So it's connected to all of them. And like I said, it says just no DTCs. Um, obviously, the report is not there because there's nothing to report. I'm going to go into diagnosis for the engine electronics. So that opens up the next screen, and this is where you can obviously read ECU information, um, read tri trouble codes, but we haven't got any, and then look them up on the internet as well. Clear them if you want to, and you can go to live data, uh, which is brilliant. Obviously, you got the packet data flow or the default one. Uh, it depends what you want to select. Obviously, you can select them. It's 365 things it found. Obviously, when the car is running, all this is going to be showing you different data. If you select less of them, the data is going to be quicker, obviously, because it's not pulling all the stuff in the same time. It shows you the battery voltage there already. Um, if you go to packet data, obviously, you select what you're working on. If you're working on the fuel system or EGR or DPF or etc. Um, so, like I said, if you go to the main thing here, it'll come up with everything. And you can go um, to the injection quantity. This is really good. So, if you select all four of them, I usually show it on all the tools actually um, you do the custom on them so they will give you a quicker reading uh, you can also get a graph as you can see there so it shows you the graph so this is from, for math sensors air sensors and etc really handy but for the injection once I start the car up this should be on 0.2 0.3 uh, this is a good thing to do when you're checking if your car is healthy if it's up to three or minus three uh, then your injectors are not doing very well anymore and obviously everything above that is not good at all obviously the other thing i wanted to show you while we're here is um very important is the service actions obviously the special service parts are special functions that you can got there six of them um so steering reset the oil service electronic parking bag for uh, for replacing the brake pads are at the back, so when you got electronic parking brake on the car, uh, battery obviously there, the throttle and ABS bleeding, so like I explained earlier. Um, so I'm gonna show you the oil reset and my actually service light is on at the moment. So I will do it, so obviously Europe, Audi. And like I said, make sure the tool is up to date. So it's connected to it, automatic detection. And obviously this is where, don't forget on the back group you can choose um, what service you've done and if you're on long life or short life or etc or just automatic one so automatic setting manual setting if you want to change the mileage 
and vehicle condition check reset as well there. Um, so I've done the major maintenance and like I say you select w how many kilometers you want or manually select it uh, one year this is the basic one that I usually do because I service my car every year so the turn off the ignition switch then turn it back on so on off on sorry the ignition is on function execution is completed so at this stage just looking at my dashboard the service has been reset, so that's brilliant. That's good. Uh, don't forget, obviously, sometimes you get the uh, maintenance light as well, the condition check, and that will be on there as well. So that resets all of it. But like I say, if you want to do a manual one, you can go into the manual. The next important feature, obviously, that I think a lot of you were waiting for is the electronic parking brake. Um, so you have to go into that, make sure the battery is connected to a charger. I definitely recommend it to avoid any electrical issues because if the voltage drops while you're doing it, uh, you might have a fault. Um, so I usually, obviously, either make sure the battery is really good or have some charger, some kind of a charger that I've shown you before in my videos, uh, plugged into the battery to keep the voltage going. Uh, so go to Europe, obviously Audi, and it should give you setting. Uh, well, there will be two settings, I think, but you need to go to, obviously, once it's connected to the car again, you need to go to, I think it's 53 option. Yeah, that's it. So, parking brake. And like I said, once you've got enough voltage in the system, uh, this should release the calipers at the back in order for you to replace the pads and disc or whatever you're doing, or even remove, obviously, the caliper. So there's the setting, replace the brake pads. Uh, so if you press that, it should start operating the... There you go, I hope you can hear it. So it's retracting, yeah, there you go, that stopped retracting them. Uh, so at this stage, you are ready to replace the rear brake pads. Obviously, you pu push the pistons back in. Uh, so as you can see, it has been retracted. Uh, please replace the brake pads and etc. Once it's completed, this is what I'm saying. It's good to keep the uh, battery charger on it now. So you replace it now, and obviously once you replace it, you have to press OK. Don't press it now, obviously, because if you press it now, it just uh, retracts it back. So once you replace the brake pads and this and etc., just press OK, and it should wind it back uh, out again. There you go. I hope you can hear that noise. So brake sensor is releasing. So at this stage, obviously, you replace the brakes. It goes all the way, then retracts a little bit. And at this stage, it should be done. It's just gonna tell you to uh, turn the ignition off and on, and it should be fine. So there you go. Turn it off, turn it on. I'm gonna start beeping again. Uh, but that is oh, the function for the brake pad replacement. Right, so here we are. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video. Obviously, I know it dragged a little bit, but I'm trying to show you the basic stuff of it. And obviously, I think the service reset and the electronic parking brake are kind of the main ones that I've been asked for anyway. Um, so yeah, at the moment, the tool is in around 150, 160 quid, still under 200. The link is in the description below, uh, so please check it out. It's on Amazon, delivery is really quick as well. Um, obviously, you got the warranty, and like I said, lifetime updates. Um, yeah. I think so far, really impressed. And as you can see, obviously, worked on electronic handbrake. Uh, I think most of you requested that video, and I think this is quite a good answer for that. Uh, so I hope uh, you do get the tool and obviously enjoy it. If you got any more questions, like I said, comment below. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to do another video for you. Hopefully, get more uh, tools, more advanced ones in case you got a workshop or you need something a bit more serious, like injector coding, etc. So I'll try and get hold of that as well and show you. But like I said, I think for 70, 80% of work that you do, I think this might cover it pretty well. Uh, it's quite quick as well. Like I said, the updates are quick as well. I haven't had issue with this one yet, but like I said, we'll be using it on different cars. I want to use it on the Audi, well, a couple of Audis now. Uh, but yeah, so far, happy, pretty impressed, and let's hope it carries on like that. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave us a comment, give us a like, and obviously subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.